welcome to the wonderful world of the Poku Wallet. This is the updated version of Iset, Splice and Burn. 22 decks have fallen in this round alone. But this will not be the 23rd. Iset, Splice and Burn. Shout out to Michael Gray for brewing this and for working a lot on the cyber plan and the deck. I want to play first, I'm playing against Pom Pom. I recognize that name. Uh, Boiler Works. I do have a stream hopper, so I'm going stream hopper. Boiler Works. Wow, stream hopper is so weak. Tap or untap target permanent splice on arcane. Okay. So now we lava spike. Or do we do that? Or do we save it? No, better to play the electromancer. Swing play electromancer. And it didn't reduce splice cost. Did it reduce splice cost? I can't remember. It seems to imply that it does here. Okay, so we swing. Oh, we don't have two red. So that doesn't really help us. Um, we still swing. Play the Raptor. And the boiler works. So we have seven damage in hand now. Oh, Putrid Leech! That was not what I expected. Tortured existence. That puts a pretty efficient stop to everything. Uh, except then uh, lava spiking. We can tap it. Okay, let's try that. Lava spike. Cast and splice additional spells. We can splice this. Okay, we start with splicing this. Yeah, we do. Splice onto Arcane for blue. Tapping him. And then splice this to the face. And we, yeah, it is reduced. So we could, can we splice this? No, we can only splice one spell once, right? Yes. Okay. So he should be tapped and we should do 5 damage and then 3 more. I'm reading a lot on the information here about the deck. Pom pom. Where are you at? Chance to grab more coffee! Yuck! Hair in my coffee! Disgusting! Do you want to tap Pewter Leech? Well, what do you think? Yes, please. And this is actually a ton of damage coming up here. So 
So we have him at eight. We can then puppetry splice splice. Wayfinder. Okay, let's look at this. <clears throat> Gatekeeper. Oh, he gains one life. That's disgusting. Hmm. Okay, so we cast the tap and splice everything onto it. We tap the Wayfinder, returning Pewter Lich. Okay, so Psychic Puppetry, cast and splice, tap the Wayfinder, <clears throat> splice this. Oh my god, the splice cost was enormous. Okay, don't splice that. Why wasn't that reduced? Shouldn't it be three? Uh, can I undo that? No, I can't. But shouldn't it be three? Splice on Arcane four, reduced by one. Target him. Pay four, why? Oh crap. Okay, let's splice double ray onto the putrid leech then. Or just to the face. No, we'll kill it. And now that costs two. But I did get it reduced last turn, didn't I? Wow. Instant the sorcerer spells, they are instant. Interesting. Okay, so how do I salvage this? If I could... What the hell, it was reduced last turn, wasn't it? Maybe I just cast this now. That seems really bad, but uh, event apparently it seems to be the best thing to do. So we don't splice. Well, what a sad card. Yes. And then we cast the consuming vortex on that thing. Trying to splice this to the face. Now we have to pay one mana. Oh yeah, because that was reduced. I am so confused right now. But we have two glacial rays. And a worthless cloudfin raptor. So now we can cast Glacial Ray, splice Glacial Ray, and win. Hopefully. What the hell is this? I'm gonna block. Because it could be an Akiba Gang Shinobi. And that would cost me the game. So the sideboard plan is long, but does it have tortured existence in it? I can't check now. Stinkweed Imp. But you have to gain life. Otherwise you are just dead. Cast and splice additional spells. Okay, so the splice cost is not reduced. 
we now know this okay Woohoo! okay is that splice and burn remember that now splice costs are not reduced there is no torture existence back here in the sideboard plan please include them they are everywhere this must be like the seventh i played again um, that's an exaggeration maybe five okay so i have to improvise we're going for the graveyard he's going for the graveyard and we can't interact with that we can't hope to counter spell a tortured existence that's just hopeless so I think uh, this the plan is what it was kill him quickly I don't think anything in my board will help even if I ashes him he will just get the creatures back so we are gonna play as is and maybe get the Cloudfin Raptor before the other guys I'm nervous now there's the Electromancer so I'm definitely not casting this Lava Spike Splice for 4 wow that card is not that good okay so it will all be about if electromancer sticks or not there is that thing electromancer woohoo a lot is hanging on you mr electromancer Commune with the stupid gods. Put a creature enchantment card from among them into your hand. Put fume spitter into their hand. Not to the bone. God, I think that every pauper deck should have a way to interact with the graveyard. That's just me. Lava Spike, Glacial Ray, Attack. And actually Electromancer doesn't do anything here. But we can do Glacial Ray, Glacial Ray next turn. So we are going to attack. And probably get blocked and spittered. I would expect. Yes. And now it's time to go for the Throat. Lava Spike Splice And now it cost one red <laughs> What the hell? And get him to 17, yes And now he can get the Fume Speeder back We just think we didn't play the fumes, but get rid of the Electromancer, and that's gonna set me back a lot. I need to draw. Oh, it has no to the bone as well. This is gonna get hard. Is Cloudfin Raptor really good in a deck with 17 creatures? I don't want to waste the Glacial Ray here, especially as it has no to the bone. Retrieve Stinkweed Imp. Though I'm not that scared of Stinkweed Imp. 
How can psychic property cost two to cast? Wow. Troll surgeon. Frost when weird would do a lot of work here. I would rather say four weirds than two raptors and weird, but weird and raptor is a nice interaction. Oh, I want to win this! He took one of the glacial rays, of course. God, I want to hit that graveyard. But now it feels like I can't even cast. Uh, the glacial race to his face as not to the bone is currently 12 life so i'm really screwed unless i can deal with not to the bone so i have to use my glacial race for removal trial surgeon is returned He is gonna eat my whole hand. So if I cast and splice it now, it's gone, but otherwise he will just eat it, so... At least now it did damage. And then he'll take he'll take it. And Cloudfin Raptor is again doing nothing. That's nice. Uh, okay, so I cast Reach to Mist. Splicing that in his face. And I also splice this, tapping the jungle hollow. Because why not? I'll tell you why not, because I have one less mana to use the card I drew. He's getting back the surgeon. No. Yeah, he's in no danger. As I have elected to play creature, doesn't do anything. Oh. God, I'm in a complain complaining mode today. Sorry. Ah, I gotta hype up. Woohoo! But it's hard to feel enthusiastic in this situation when he has his graveyard filled with goodies and a note to the bone. So he can just keep doing what he's doing. Oh, tilling tree folk. Oh god, my my time. I played way too slow. I don't think I can recover from this. I'm gonna concede here. And go to the third game. Is there anything? Do I want to counter spells? No. Let's do this. Now I have all the time in the world. I couldn't see a way out of that match. That duel. Yes, I want to play first. Hadley Raptor, but I don't have red. I have to keep this. Eventually, if I draw a land, I will evolve the Raptor for the first time. And if I draw red, it's gonna be awesome. It's about one chance in five of drawing a red every turn. 
This is pretty sweet though. Very sweet. But the lack of red is going to hurt. I definitely need to draw a land now. If it was red, there would be party time. Uh oh, Baron Moore in their hand. Lost the torture resistance. That means he already has one. Clout of the Dominus. Haste and Shroud. Well, how does he deal with a 3 4 flyer? I think it is. No, it has to be the Frostburn Weird. We can block it with crap. Of course, it has to be the Frostburn Weird. It's too advanced to make it the Raptor. And now I have the Abyss. You better block this. No? Okay, red mana would be nice. I would win this. Yeah, let's do this. You can't get rid of the Frostborn Weird now. You have the Gatekeeper. But this is a pretty fast start. Oh, that guy. Okay, but I can remove that. My splice cost is only one. Consuming Vortex. I can only cast these two cards. And Consuming Vortex seems to be the better one. But this is not the road to victory. Red mana is... Okay, I have a thousand ways to get rid of a blocking Stinkweed Imp. He only got expanses. God, give me a mana now! Damn it! Okay, it costs only one to splice, so I have to wait. The Noggle Bandit can only be blocked by defenders. I have to sit back doing nothing. Grinding me out because I don't have mana. I don't think this deck recovers very well from Mulligan, so I'll keep a two land hand with one with castable spells, etc. every time. Hmm, this is interesting. The Raptor will evolve even more. Land. Well, all he needs is a torture existence. It doesn't actually have that yet. Drawn 12 cards, two lands. There's the torture existence.
brown scale wayfinder I have 22 lands, there is the final red mana. So what do I do here? He can just recur the fume spitter all day, so the Noggle Bandit doesn't do a whole lot. Hmm. The Hunter doesn't do anything. And attacking with Frostburn Weird just gives him stuff to recur. I think it's the Electromancer. But I'm not sure. He didn't use the fume spitter, so he has something worse coming up. I really wish I could destroy his graveyard somehow. Hmm. Cast glacial ray. Splice puppetry. Wayfinder is returned. Yeah, he's just his late game is so much stronger than mine. And he's at 18 now. Commune. There is no to the bonus in the graveyard as well. I missed that. So I don't see a way out here. Damn, I don't. Just play more Electromancer, hoping for the Petal of Insight. I wait for a Clout for the Noggle Bandit, that, that will be something. So I just play another Electromancer. It's really disgusting that I'm five minutes behind him. Yeah, Grey Scrabbler. His late game is just so much more powerful than mine. Still wonder if I shouldn't have put the clout on the raptor. But I could only tap the stinkweed imp every now and then. He still has not to the bone. Well, I'm not taking out <laughs> everything that dies just helps him so much. But I block the tree folk. And I can't raise him because he has no to the bone. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm 
I'm so sad right now. Yeah, I killed them all. Yup. I'm just dead. Such a frustrating match. And now I'm complaining again. Here's my grey ogre. Woohoo! So how many life does it get out of Not to the Bone? Well, all of them. Putri Leech. Free folk. <sighs> Sigh. You can't block me. Though you can raise me pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm not gonna block you guys. Oh, I'm gonna block the tree folk. Frostburn weird. I can now glacial rain response to a pump from a putrid leech. Yeah, I'm just caught in a tortured existence. So block that guy. Kill him. Take four. So at nine, I can do six, but of course, not to the bonus an instant. So, and there we go. Now he has thirty-one life. Uh oh. Okay, we did win one duel. Is that splice and burn? Lost to GB Tortured Existent 1 to 2. That happened to another deck, so it was filled in from the start. And we have a 23rd deck that dies in this round. Is that Splice and Burn can be voted back in after round 4 of the Poppy Gauntlet? Uh, wow. That's a huge creature. I think I will have to tap him. Now I'm playing merely for a disconnect from him. Crypt Rats! And it's lethal next turn, so... Though I can kill it, so... Crypt Trap for two. <laughs> yeah, tap you! Yes. <laughs> I can trade with the Putri Leech, but to what end? So now what do I do? <laughs> 
I die. Hey Ripley, I heard you ran into these creatures before. What happened? I died. Is that splice and burn leaves us? Thank you for watching.